where we headed out here into the field, killing these uh, dog thick creatures. Sure. Not dogs, right? They're like not dogs. They're not wolves. They're like they're hounds. What the... Yeah, but I never met no hound that looked like that. The bats at least look like stylized bats. I can't figure out what these things are. I kind of wish that um, transportation between Alliance capital cities was as easy as it is uh, with the Horde. Oh, I know. I mean, I mean um, Thunder Bluff is kind of out of the way in that, you know, the, the Zeppelin moves in real time. You actually have to ride the Zeppelin? <laughs> yeah. But beyond that, it is much easier to get around in these, like... Is there even a short way to get to... Um, what is that spot called? The Draenei place. The, ex the Exodar? Exodar? Is there a fast no. way to get to the Exodar? Uh, from You can take a portal from Darnassus. Oh, there is a portal? Okay. Then I'm full of crap. Yeah, it's I in was like just mage temple. ported. What level can we do Silver Pine? 10. Is it 10? I mean, we could do it before then, but yeah. Well, I mean, there's not quests there, so all we would be doing is killing things. Yeah. Found a bunch of doggies. I tried to click on the uh, the mess, this the horde board or whatever in there, and it said you can't do anything until 11. So I'm wondering if it's 11 is when you get your quest to go there. Yeah, it might be. Can't wait to the level 10 when I can make charge double tap or whatever. Ooh. Can you should come over it. here and see if there's loot on the dogs I killed. Hollow, are you running around on top of your orc? No. What? Anybody else seeing this but me? Just you. I'm waiting for it to come up on your stream. Uh, you ruined it. <laughs> you were definitely the wow. Wow. <laughs> that it, there is no mount. Your orc is literally sitting there, and you are running around on it. That is amazing. <laughs> are we doing the thorn in our sad one before we turn in the other one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we may as well. Kill some Scarlets. Alright, so does everyone here know the proper way to dunk an Oreo? Hold it under really carefully until it soaks itself up and gets really mushy and then pull it out. I mean, I feel like Flips. there's no wrong way. There is a way of maximum efficiency. I will share Discord. You gonna take a picture? Ow. I already did. Just making sure I'm in general, because not everyone needs to see. It's also how you keep your mouse and keyboard clean, but can still enjoy Oreos. Found a missionary. One on the back side of the tower. There was. Never mind. All right. Anybody need more? I need four dark hound blood, but I got all the thorn in our side ones. All right. Let's go find some dogs to kill. Could you imagine running around this whole field on foot? This area was such a pain in the ass. Like, it was the reason I did not like leveling an undead. Here's a doggy. 
Although the old Molgor was pretty boring and annoying. Oh my gosh. That's the one that got me. If it was a lot smaller but still had all the same stuff in it, it'd be easier. But there's just all this empty space between objectives. There's one. And then the worst was running around trying to find that stupid rare that you had to kill. Or the big boss, Kodo. Had to go into Thoughtbot and find his path. Oh my god, Thoughtbot! Thoughtbot. If it wasn't Thoughtbot. Wasn't there like an Alex Alexazam? Yeah, I was just saying that. I was like, what was the other one? I need two more stupid bloods. Ooh. One more stupid blood. Figured as an undead, I should have like a diseased or blighted pet, so I pulled out the blighted squirrel. I think there's a chicken pet in this town that you have to like cluck at or throw food at or something. Is that the anaconda chicken? Maybe. Yes, I call it the anaconda chicken. All right, that was all the bloods I needed. Hooray! Are we turning at Brill first? Yeah. Level nine. There's our war chief's command, Silver Pine Forest. As soon as I hit level nine. I didn't get it. I, I got it. You share it? Maybe. All right. Well, we also have our fun little warrior who's still level eight. Right. I'm one little niche away from that. I gotta get up to the thing, though. You guys wanna go straight down to Silver Pine, hang out with the Dark Lady for a while? Yeah, we'll probably... If he doesn't ding now, he'll definitely ding as we kill a few things between here and there. I'm about to ding now, I think. Oh, what are we doing this poor dwarf? Oh, oh. Oh, are we killing dwarves? Did the I guy upstairs? The oh, do we have to upstairs? kill him one at a time? Oh, maybe. <laughs> there. I've learned a new combat stance. There we go. Oh, and then there's another quest that pops up. Right here. Report to Apothecary Jared. Are we going out to Garen's Haunt, or are we going down to Silver Pine? Oh, Silver, Silver Pine, Pine sounds good to me. Different. Yeah, that sounds perfect. I wonder if there's a flight path. Probably not, right? Mm. No, we gotta ride to the flight path first. We ride. Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum 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 oh, isn't this where uh, Garrosh uses a very unsavory word towards Sylvanas? Oh yeah. I remember requesting that the first time. I was like, what? Children play this game. <laughs> Horribly, but still. And I remember it all children play Alliance anyway. 
Yeah, that's what I used to say when I was Horde. I've I've since learned better. Look at that coffin hauler up there. Did you see that? Yeah, I think that's our ride. Yeah, you can click and ride it if you... That was back before you had these sweet little chauffeur mounts. You could click them and you would be able to ride back and forth amongst the areas in here. That is so cool. No, wait! Yep, yeah, it moves faster than we do, though. Bye! That's alright, we gotta turn in here soon. Oh, wait, is he going to the quest turn in? Damn it. Yeah, I think he does. I think he stops there. I don't know if... Well, maybe he goes all the way down to, uh... Sepulcher. I don't remember. Yep, he stops here. You could make it. I love With her the voice. Of the Lich King, I know. Many of the more intelligent scourge became unemployed. Those fiends, as you so delicately put it, are called Valkyr. They are under my command now. And they are part of the reason that I asked to see you. Get on with it, Sylvanas. Very well, War Chief. I have solved the plight of the Forsaken. As a race, we Forsaken are unable to procreate. With the aid of the Valkyr, we are now able to take the corpses of the Fallen and create new Forsaken. Agatha, show the War Chief! against the laws of nature. Disgusting is the only word I have to describe it. War Chief, without these new Forsaken, my people would die out. Our hold upon Gilneas and Northern Lordaeron would crumble. Have you given any thought to what this means, Sylvanas? What difference is there between you and the Lich King now! Isn't it obvious, War Chief? I serve the Horde. Oh man, she's so Watch cool. Watch your clever mouth, bitch. Romosh, you stay behind and make sure the Banshee Queen is well guarded. I will be expecting a full report when next we meet. Remember, Sylvanas, eventually we all have to stand before our Maker and face judgment. Your day may come sooner than others. He is one to talk. Well, this was actually kind of back when he was sort of still respectable. Like, he's like, yeah, raising people from the dead, not cool, man. Like, he makes valid points. He makes them with naughty language, but he makes valid points. And then over in, um, where, uh, Red So Ridge. when they destroy the whole druid city, he comes out and throws the dude, like, he was still respectable and had, like, some decency in him here, even though he was a little bit of a, you know, he was a hell scream. It's just funny how he's like, oh, this is unnatural to raise the dead. Like, yeah, eating a 
old god Shahar is natural? Well, yeah, that speaks to the progression of his character, that he just, like, went full-on yeah. power grab mode. Um, nom, 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 nom. But, like, there was a time where he was throwing his lieutenants out of windows because they bombed innocent towns. And then there was a whole book about how he bombed an innocent city. Like, it's, you know, he's, he's there's, like, a progression. It's really interesting to watch. It's, it's part of the reason I get so upset when people say that they made Garrosh into a big deal when really he was nothing. And I'm like, they were telling his story for, like, three expansions before that happened. Yeah. He had a lot of story. Alrighty. Uh, so Abby. what do we gotta get? <laughs> what, 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 what? What are you screaming? What happened? I didn't pick up the quest yet. Okay. And doesn't he come into story in Wrath, like, as just, like, a side character small guy, and then he gets Kata's when he finally, like... No, he's originally crusade. introduced... He's originally introduced to the crusade. With the Great Mother Gaia? Yep. Crying great big crocodile tears into the campfire, because I don't want to be... I don't want... My dad ruined our family name, and I'm dishonored. And then Thrall kind of lies to him, but sort of Aww. not really. Look what you started. But he did. Okay. Got my quests. Alrighty. I didn't read them, but I got them. <laughs> no, I didn't read them either. But we gotta kill some Morgan now. Ooh, get some uh, ferocious doom weed. It's all about the weed in here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Why do you think they dance like that? Come here, Morgan. And I actually gotta go for now. I gotta eat and stuff, so... Thanks for... Oh, okay. I'll just finish mine off later on. Do we wanna, like, call a dinner break and come back later? And do it as a group, I have, or...? I have an hour. In about an hour, I have to go to bed for work. Huh? Yeah, nah, don't wait up for me. I'm, I'll be alright. Okay. Cool, man. Thanks for hanging out. It was fun. For sure. Bye! Bye. I keep hearing ch chirping. That's new. Is it from one of us, or...? No, in the game sounds. It's the environmental sounds. There's birds chirping here in Silver Pine that don't chirp in Pierceville. Which, is Tearsfall where Tear died? Like, mm. is that what that zone is called that for? I mean, that I guess that would, would be in the. Sense. I guess that would come out in the Warcraft Chronicles. Um, Which does anybody have that yet? I, uh, the thing is, do you want Shadow Priest spoilers? Yes or no? Yeah, sure. There is something old god under Tears Fell, and it's very much so answered in. The Shadow Priest's uh, artifact weapon chain. Oh, that's that awesome. Much, that much I know. I didn't go into detail too much because I want to experience that bit firsthand. But yes, there is something very much old god under Tears Fell, and it gets talked about, and you actually go down and figure it out. Like, it's up over in that spot. Like, hold on. Like, off onto the very far left of the map when you're looking at Terraceville, there's that little lake and the big lake. There, you go yeah. off over there, and there's this chain, and you have to go down into a cave, and there's these cultists. That much I know, and it's all answered if you play a Shadow Priest in uh, the next one. Yeah, I kind of... Excuse me, I'm all yawny. Um, I kind of thought that that would be the case, because besides the fact that when the elves first arrived on the shores of the Eastern Kingdoms. They arrived in Tearsfall, and they heard whispers from underground, and they like had to relocate up to where Silvermoon is now mm -hmm. um, in order to right. essentially remain 
uh, a people. Um, and then, you know, obviously there was the corruption of Arthas and the, the, the fall of the human civilization of Lordaeron and, you know, all that weird shit that happened. So it was always kind of implied that there was something sinister going on just, you know, in this area in general. So I'm not really surprised that there's an old god presence in this area. There's a rare over here. Or fang. Strangs. But yeah, I watched a bit of it just to kind of get a grasp of what was going on. But yeah, there's some serious, like, old god stuff now which one it is if it's the one that actually got destroyed or if it's one of the other three that just got imprisoned that i don't well there was some theorizing that happened on one of the lore watch episodes that had to do with the well of eternity and the titans and the old gods that you know kind of made some sense but obviously all they were working off of was the preview video, or not the preview video, but the preview pages that were released. I think I listened to that one, maybe not. I haven't listened to the most recent two since Chronicle got to Anne Stickney's eyeballs. I could listen to those two guys talk all day. I know, right? Everything they have to say is just fascinating. Maybe I should give it a chance, but I just know when I tried to listen to the other podcast, Rossi annoys the hell. I feel like he's a lot less annoying now for some reason. Maybe more humbled. Something. He got under my skin. I always kind of liked him. I can't put my finger on what it was about him. Maybe it was his... It always seemed like he had such a negativity about things. Well, I mean, he... That and I never played Warrior, so maybe that was also the thing, is I just don't get Warriors, and he's just, like, Warrior dude, so... I don't know. Actually, of, of the three regulars, the one that annoys me the most is probably Anne, and that's only because she has a tendency to interrupt. Yeah, she totally does! But that's she, what the things that she says is fascinating. It's just that she says it, she starts saying it before others get the chance to finish what they were saying. Woo, level 10! I think I'm gonna kill this wolf and become level 10. Would be good. Alright, what do I pick? Mmm. Mmm. I went arms. I'll go Brewmaster. Destruction! Why not Brewmaster? Oh Dance my god. Sturdy ox. Clean beast guts are like rare. Yeah, there's a lot of dirty beasts in the area. Tiger strikes, way the monk. All this is... Okay. Dizzying Haze. Requires Ox Dance. I'm in Ox Dance. Why didn't I get Dizzying Haze on my bar automatically? This is BS! Aw! Alright, cool. Ready for action! So then, action, 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 action. <laughs> I saw it in a decongestant commercial. Exactly! <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. <laughs> well, everyone we invited is here. Also, Zoidberg! Ah, 
yeah, save my friends! And also Zoidberg! <laughs> The box says no. I really wish I could do the Zoidberg voice. I don't know how to make my I don't know how to make my voice all marbly like that though. Yeah. I feel like I've seen a YouTube video with uh, what's his face in it talking about how he does that. Billy West? Yeah. He 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 was in that um voice actor documentary. Mmm. That might have been it. I've heard that he's very difficult to work with. Hmm. He started a podcast, and I think it's up to like uh, nine, eight or nine episodes. I've only listened to a couple, and it was interesting. Like, I'm not quite sure if I would recommend it. Maybe the newer ones are better. I think if I'm going to listen to a podcast by a voice actor, I would rather listen to like, you know, the Jim Cummings podcast or the uh, um, John DiMaggio podcast. John DiMaggio should totally make a podcast. Well, I, I would I listen think, to that. He does a lot of shit. I'd be surprised if he didn't have a podcast, to be honest with you. He doesn't have a Twitter, is it? There's one of those that I was looking for him and I couldn't find him. Oh wait, he has a Twitter. It's his Vine. He uh, hasn't updated it in like years. It can't all be Terra Strong. That's how I know he had one. Cause she tagged him. All right, I've got all my things. Yeah, I'm turning in now. Ugh, stupid beast guts. The elusive beast gut. Speed. Oh my god. Speak to bat handler maggot breath here at the high command and requisition a bat. Come on. Requisition man. me a beat. <laughs> Oh god, it's Bat Handler Maggot Breath. <laughs> and he's carrying a broom. He's gonna sweep up all that bat guano, I guess. Oh, that's where it comes from. Forget Whoa, going into the raid. Just ask that guy. Deathstalker He'll Commander... Some. Deathstalker Commander Belmont. You think his first name is Simon? I'm trying to think who that is. Simon Belmont is the protagonist of some of the Castlevania games. Oh, uh, I never played him. Uh, now I know why so I don't good. know. Castlevania 1 was unfairly difficult because it was like a 45 minute game. Huh. <laughs> So it had to be, like, monstrously hard in order to make you feel like you got your money's worth out of it. I want to know why... There's not a Dark Ranger, you know, skin for Forsaken. Like, why can't you roll a Dark Ranger? You know what I mean? For that matter, there have to be undead, you know, gnomes and shit. Possibly, like, but she's only pulling bodies and undead people from what were very much heavily human areas, which would explain why they all have a very human aesthetic to them. Well, yeah, alright. But at least give us the elves. Like, I want to be an undead I'm gonna kill you with my bow elf lady. That's That'd be pretty sweet. That's who I want to be. Do you think Sylvanas would ever go so far as to raise elves like her own kind? Yeah, there's some right here. 
the Dark Rangers. Well, I don't, okay, I don't know if she raised them. They were probably brought up by Arthas. But I don't see why not. She she has affection for... Did you read uh, War Crimes? No. There is a very interesting side story in War Crimes about Sylvanas and Verisa, her sister. Verisa Windrunner. Mm. And, um... You know, they, they basically plot to assassinate Garrosh during the trial. And part of the side story is that she has this plan to murder Verisa and Verisa's children so that they can all live happily ever after in the Undercity together as a family. Oh, wow. And she is completely sincere about this. Like, she actually feels love and affection for her sister, and it makes her uncomfortable because she's undead, but she feels it nonetheless. And she's like, the best way to do this, and we'll all be happy, is if we're all living together in the Undercity. And she presents this to Verisa, and Verisa's like, well, if I'm going to assassinate Garrosh against the wishes of basically everybody who set this trial up, I, you know, I'm going to need to find a safe place to live, so if you're offering me the Undercity, I might take it. And then she doesn't tell her, oh yeah, and by the way, the reason you're going to live there with me is because I'll have killed you at that point. But she wow. doesn't kill her... She doesn't... She has no intention to kill her out of malice. She genuinely thinks that, okay, I'll kill her, and then the three of... The, the, the four of us, because she's got two children, the four of us can live together in safety in the Undercity, and we'll all be very happy together. Like, she's completely sincere. She's just out of her mind. Right. So let's talk to Magapreth. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go, what, to the Dawning Isles? Yes. I would say that. Yes. Sorry, that's that's that. To... No, that was a cool story. Like non-ironically saying that. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I love these bombing missions. I remember doing one at the beginning of Burning Crusade. Right when I walked through the Dark Portal, they give you a bombing run. And I was like, <gasps> Is this what questing is going to be? I keep my, cat. <clears throat> my camera keeps re-aiming. Yeah, mine's doing that too. Who knew that there were this many murlocs out here? Dang. <gasps> let's not go with the racist term of murloc. Let's just call them devolved genu or unevolved genu. That's what they are. Holy shit, that's exactly what they are. Oh my god. How did I not think of this? That's 100% what they are. Yeah. The genu are just murlocs that evolved. Well, the waters in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms were probably waters from the Well of Eternity. Yeah. Like, I think they I think they bring that up in Miss Pandaria. Yep. Which is why the uh, Jinyu evolved. Embrace the shadow. Level nice. 11! It's like we all picked our item at the exact same time. Do you know why Mortis puts nub to your name, Barfstone? Because he's an incompetent uh, sycophant that has trouble seeing Sick through fan. your over... What is it? Sycophant. I think. I must be mispronouncing it. Has trouble seeing through his oversized helmet. I fucking love how angry all these guys are at each other. So what, we gotta cruise south a little bit here, yeah? Yeah. Bing. J 
generates two and chi. Find the guy who's hiding in the outhouse. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hey, what? knock knock. I know you're on the crapper, but we got some talking to do. Oh yeah, that's right. Belmont is like, he's hiding in there like the chief from Inspector Gadget. We have to hide in the. Yeah. We have to hide in the. Um, wow. Hey, Crowley's so cool looking. I think I have my game audio turned too low. If this has voice acting, it's not coming through. Oh, all right. And the three of us crammed into this box, we must smell just great. I think you smelled us. Who is that? Is that Lillian? No. No, that was who was in the outhouse. Oh, all right. Well then. Yane Yorick? Rain Yorick. Yo, Rain, Yo, Rick! <laughs> and that's why you don't hide in the outhouse before you, you go hide in the closet. Especially when you're hiding from a pack of wolves. I was not aware that Undead needed to defecate. Well, wow. they apparently can cannibalize and eat stuff, so I would assume they have to get rid of it somehow. Maybe. What goes in must come out, one way or another. Belmont makes me think of Veronica Belmont. Oh, yeah. Kneel before your queen, Barstone. Of course. Why wouldn't I? We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. Oh, uh, yeah. We gotta go smack the shit out of some orcs. Yo. Back to work. Work, work. Yes, me lord. Okay. Something need doing? Right oh then. Job's done. Job's done. Nice spin! 
Yeah, you like it? I don't know how you did that, but that was cool. Move my mouse. Mutant bush chicken! Oh, I forgot about the mutant bush chickens. How did this happen? Drunk happened, that's how. Now that other people aren't here to be angry except for Kara about my, my freaking time travel thought idea for this expansion. It was just bad timing, I wanted to kill shit. <laughs> Go on. I'm just saying, I, that would be freaking awesome because it's the one thing we hear about it, but we don't quite know about it. And it, technically, we could be the things that help the Titans because, you know, the further you get away from a point in history, the more blurred the facts get. So, you know, the ancient text you find says powerful beings, and we just translate to think that means only the Titans. And now thinking on the whole Algalon thing, maybe, just maybe, we don't even, like, let into the Titans that we are from, you know, the future, we are what's to come, so they just think we're maybe we're some other powerful beings, too, from somewhere, just helping them out. So Algalon... Oh, they, so, like, Algalon doesn't have them. complete information. Yeah, so he doesn't quite realize that we are the same beings that, you know, help them defeat the old gods eons ago. I just pulled that out of the butt right now. I think that's... I wish I could poop floor. <laughs> I, uh, I would very much like to see a lot from the Black Empire, but I feel like Blizz is gonna give us that information in, like, external sources rather than internal. Yeah. Got all eight of mine. Off to the coast. Gotta kill Sanders and get sea dog crates. Oh, this guy carries more stuff for us, right? Yeah. I just think running around the Black Empire would be sweet. Well, I mean, whoa, those are on fire, man. There would have to be just a ton of stuff. Because, I mean, we would be dealing with the entirety of the, that continent. Like, the original continent of Kalimdor is larger than Kalimdor, Everything. the Eastern Kingdoms, Pandaria, and, and Northrend. Like, there were big chunks of it in the center that were destroyed when the Sundering happened. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you could also have it and make it in a way that, uh, you don't go to all of the areas like part of them are just like mountain areas or just just because the whole map's there doesn't mean you have to have a zone that covers the entirety of all of it are are our sea dog boxes yes. counting toward each other so that's awesome yes. my dude's lucky and only has to carry two my guy's only got one Harris dude's doing all the work. He's only got two. We only need five, right? Oh, right. It's even funnier when he's carrying all five, though. Yes. And then we drive away on a motorcycle, and he's like, I'm trying to keep up. I really am. <laughs> no, no, not even drive off. We aren't doing anything but riding. Man, why can't I sit? Spiders. Oh, poor guy. I got a belt. 
Is this guy just walking into the wall for you guys? Uh, yes. Yes, he is. What, you've never been hung over and then just walked into a wall for an hour? <laughs> I'm usually not walking. It's just kind of leaned up against it. Like, uh... Oh, we got to throw the chicken at this guy. Yeah. Waiting for the carrot to get here. Oh. Oh, his little feet are sticking out of his face. Yeah, I got credit. Good. I don't know what you guys are talking about. He's just taking a nap. Queen. Looks like we gotta go into the cave and kill something. Yeah, queen. I still don't have any shoes on. Hmm. I seem to have found a pair. Oh, Jesus, she's in the roof. Yeah. I was like, is he just gonna... Yep, he's just gonna... Oh, never mind. What's that? Just walk right up under the... The thing we're supposed to kill. Yeah, I didn't know it was up there. I mean, you may not have shoes on, but we still smacked it with all our shoes. You really don't have shoes. I was like, yeah, they have found a pair by now. Nope. Ugh, I need a vendor.
apparently I didn't have any gloves on. Deliver the Admiral's commendation letter to Lady Sylvanas Windrunner. Okay. I don't know how much a commendation letter from some orc is going to really, uh, you know, improve my standing within the ranks of the Forsaken, but whatever. Beware the living. At least we can just take the fight back. Oh, uh, yeah, we totally can do that. Slap me, slap me, slap me. so slow. Wait a minute. How are you an elf? I got toys. Oh. Uh, That's what she said. Did you already head up? Yes. All right. I think, wait. I went to Undercity. Was I supposed to go to Undercity? No, we want Forsaken High Command. Then I will request that. Oh, Yay I for that about feature. That. Yeah. I was going to say, well, we have a Warlock. We could summon you. Which G is the Warlock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least it was on the way. How uh, we can get to make this. Take Agatha with you to Fenris Isle. Yay! Where's Agatha? She, she should... automatically joins you when you pick up the quest. I don't sure. have her. Hmm. Are you on the quest? Yeah. Rise for taken? Mm. Who knows? Maybe drop it's like, and pick uh, it up again? Maybe. What are we? Oh, hey, I got her. All the Valkyries. Cool. I was like, none of us are DKs. How even? There's a hole in the wall over here. Oh, sweet. Can we see it all? Why is there honking?
the honking when it raises somebody? Maybe. Yeah. Rise Forsaking kind of reminds me of something that happened in uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force once. Oh no. When uh, I think they were trying to bring a chicken back to life. Like they got a witch doctor to do something. And Meatwad is standing next to it going, let me get the voice right. Arise, chicken. Arise. Arise, chicken. Nice. Is there nobody in here? I think I remember that. No, it seems like the keep is empty. They keep nothing in the keep. Except I keep getting lost in the keep. I've been playing WoW for, for how long? And those <laughs> types of buildings always get me lost. You think yeah, I would have like, learned by now. They'll do an entire expansion. It's all the same building, the same cave. Ooh. Uh, strike at their leaders. They're in the keep. It says they're in the keep. God damn it. We were just in the keep. Find the refugee leadership inside Fenris Keep. All right. Oh, oh. Jesus. Now there's people in here. I'm remembering right, I heard that the Worgen curse keeps them from coming back as Forsaken. Yes, I believe so. Oh god! I was like, wait, my character's moving and I'm not doing anything! That would be what? Uh, wait, are they just sort of hanging out here and not caring that there's three Forsaken Warriors just chilling out in the back of the room. <laughs> I can't mouse over to see who anybody is. Oh yeah, I just said it. Be immune to the curse. Yeah. Vengeance! Oh, <laughs> snap! Fly, you fools! I love how the Valks see that and they're like, Yeah, it's time to get the fuck out of here. me by the back of the neck like I'm a cat. <laughs> yep. Like, these bones are kind of fragile. Like, what if the rest of me falls off? It's just carrying a head back. I can't wait to learn more about the Valk here. Oh, oh I know. I gotta get my warrior leveled up. Makes me wonder how the ones that we'll meet will feel if they learn about these.
Oh, sweet. Da, da, da. Now me and Sylvanas are going to be best friends. Perfect! She's just shooting people as we ride by. Nice! Terranus had a son named Arthas. Arthas. Even saying his name makes my body quiver in rage. This man-child, Arthas, took for himself man -child. a cursed blade known as Frostmourne. Through Frostmourne, Arthas killed his own father and raised this land along with every living creature in it. My own death came at the hands of Arthas, when he and his army sacked my homeland, Quel'Thalas, and murdered my people. In his vast cruelty, Arthas severed my spirit from my body and raised me as a banshee to serve in his scourge army. A similar fate befell all that would die to the scourge war machine. In death, they were reborn as mindless undead. But Arthas was not invincible. With each passing day, his power waned. His grip over the will of the damned loosening. It was when Arthas was at his weakest that I struck. And though the hour of his atonement had come, the worm managed to escape his feet, returning to the frozen wastes of Northrend. With Arthas gone, so too was the control he held over the undead masses of Lordaeron. After recovering my body, I freed the remaining scourge that were left behind. From the cruelty and mercilessness of Arthas, the man who would be Lich King, the Forsaken, were born. Our goal, our sole purpose, was to destroy the Lich King. We threw our lot in with the Horde and began our journey towards redemption. Now, the Lich King is dead, and we have returned. The people who called this land their home in life, do so in death as well. But the Alliance does not recognize our rights. They claim this land is their own, while attempting to invalidate the claims of the founders of this kingdom. I will never allow it. Never! Lordaeron belongs to the Forsaken, always and forever. Forever. <laughs> what joy is there in this curse? We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. Man, this place got a lot bigger. Yeah, it did. It used to be, what, just from where Sylvanas is over to where that crit pack, right? I think yeah. so. Uh, the, well, it might have been the same size, but the two buildings on the side, the two new massive buildings are definitely new. There's a lot more gravestones. There's a lot more gravestones. Which is weird. There a new, new war after we came through here before the Cataclysm? Hmm. I don't know. It could have been. All right. So, Good well, it's almost bedtime for me, and okay. I figured if you were okay with it, we pause these characters right here at this nice little break point. Put them off in the crypt, get some rest, and we can pick it up either tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, I like that. All right. There's an Where's inn, the inn there. at? Is it, is it back there? Okay, is it... Oh, it's over there. Right on. Yeah, let's do that. Innkeeper Bates. I don't know. I don't know if we want to stay at the Bates Motel. Oh, God, that's exactly what it is. Jesus. How did I miss <laughs> all these references? Oh, and look at the... Look at the picture up here, right behind you, Kara. Oh my goodness!
I know there was someone somewhere who was doing like periodic like post of the art of certain uh, ones. Like one went through the whole Worgen starting city and took a screenshot of all the various art that's just hanging on the walls. That's hilarious. Pick it up whenever. <laughs> same Sounds time works. Me. Pretty much the same time every day works for me. Okay. So yeah, I got whenever. time. Mm-hmm. Cool beans. I'm gonna go get myself ready for sleep. <laughs> 